Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this TFLEX CAD training course and the topic for today will be the top-down method of design. Um, in our uh, previous lesson we've seen the bottom-up uh, method and this is the second uh, method we have to use uh, and to create assembly files in terms of the 2D. Um, this method, uh, call it uh, the top-down, uh, separates parts and fragments uh, and these are uh, created directly within assembly drawing uh, window. Um, even considering this method, we can work with it in with two approaches, um, uh, but they, they are gathered in the same uh, uh, method, okay? Uh, so we can consider the fragment extraction uh, and we can work directly uh, in, in the assembly. Let us create a couple of uh, very simple examples so that you can understand. Uh, I will create uh, again very simple geometry, okay, a couple of entities um, and some construction geometry, some graphic lines, very easy and normal entities. So I can consider that this is uh, one drawing, uh, an assembly drawing that uh, I'm I'm working and now I want to uh, create uh, inside this working environment so I will go to uh, fragment and uh, on the same menu where uh, we uh, make the insertion of fragments in the previous lessons we have these two icons uh, the first one it is called create new fragment in assembly, uh, in assembly context. So when I do this, uh, I create one drawing that I will call something, okay, in this particular case, ISO drawing 2. Um, the system basically will um, put uh, the entities we have in our environment a little grayed out. And now I can work and create construction and, and graphical lines. I have the snap modes on, so I can use uh, this kind of uh, functions, okay, to grab points. And what I create now, okay, let's create something around this, and for example, this one also. Um, and now when I do the click with the right mouse button, I have these functions, the close fragment and save fragment and return. So, okay, uh, this will save the original drawing, okay. And what happens now, it is, uh, this will be saved and the entities will be uh, uh, they are taken from grade. So now if I try to open a drawing, a new drawing, you see that the ISO drawing 2, which was the fragment that uh, I've created in my assembly environment, it was created. And inside it should have only the entities uh, I've created uh, when uh, these were was grayed out. Okay, and that's it. Okay, very easy stuff. Uh, the other approach that we can use, it is to uh, uh, do again fragment and from the entities I have, I will say create me a new drawing, a new fragment from what is already created. So second option, uh, I can create uh, a fixing vector, so I can do for example something like this, create a vector. Uh, with all the perimeters that we've seen previously uh, and I can make this selection and selection of entities so if I want to say 
I want to have these four lines uh, in my file so just save it I can assign variables and the system is showing the variables that uh, can be attached that are uh, that belong to the current document I will not uh, include any of those so just do the OK and uh, I'm able to give it a name so in this particular case no name 3 ok I will use it no problem and the same process if I open a drawing a new one I, I should have the no name 3 that it is opened it should, takes a couple of seconds Okay, was very small, but here are the, the entities I've saved. And if I go in this drawing, for example, and if I try to insert that fragment, I will choose it, no name 3. Okay, basically it follows the same process that we've seen previously uh, uh, for the insertion of fragments with a fixing vector. So give it a point and now a rotation. Okay, very easy. And, uh, and it's another way to work with this top-down design. This is another, another method. I, in my perspective, this uh, top-down design approach, uh, it's a little more uh, complex and uh, it may not be suitable in all design assemblies. It has some adv uh, advantage, uh, disadvantages uh, because it's a little uh, more it has a little more complex organization of the entities in your, in your drawing space. Uh, it's less uh, robust regarding topology because of the changes you may uh, put uh, at parametric level. Um, and uh, it's uh, not so uh, easy or at least less convenient uh, when we talk about the reuse of fragments in other assemblies and it has some limitations uh, in terms of the variables okay um, it, it, it also has a, a couple of advantages uh, because uh, it also can uh, reduce the use of external uh, variables and uh, simplifies uh, in, on a certain level uh, the handling of, of these fragments but uh, resuming I would say that the bottom-up method it is more convenient uh, to work in terms of uh, creating assemblies for sure you are able to use what you feel more comfortable but uh, and make a couple of tests uh, and you can make a couple of trials to see uh, what is your opinion because maybe it, your opinion is different from what I'm saying here okay but it depends for sure on the practice of each one of you anyway um, if you need any help uh, or if you have some particular problems contact us uh, and we'll try to help you explaining what may may not be so clear in this uh, short video